Welcome, everybody. This is Gary Bennett at ExcelMe.com, and I have on the phone with me the authors of one of the most popular iPhone development books that's currently out, uh, Dave Mark and Jeff LaMarche. The book is called Beginning iPhone Development, Exploring the iPhone SDK, and the subtitle is A Complete Course in iPhone and iPod Touch Programming. Welcome, Dave and Jeff, and thanks for taking the time to talk a little bit about uh, your book and iPhone development in general. Thanks for having us, Gary. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what I hear a lot with uh, my students and also my friends is how people get started in iPhone development. Where should they start? How do they do it? How, I mean, it seems like such a big elephant to eat. What are your thoughts? How have you seen um, when you write these books and people that you talk to and, and uh, have read your book, which, by the way, is doing very well. It's uh, one of the most popular iPhone development books on Amazon right now. It has um, a four-and-a-half rating currently and with a ton of reviews. I think there's almost 100 reviews at, as of this date anyway on the book. With It's doing really well. And So I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about how people get involved in iPhone development and where to start. Um, well, I'll, I'll jump in there. This is Dave Mark. Um, I, uh, I guess the, the question is, um, what do you already know? Um, uh-huh. I, I think that uh, there's a, we, we get a whole range of, of people reading our book. Uh, we, believe it or not, there's a nine-year-old kid who was on, uh, what was it? Was it on CNET, Jeff? Um, uh, it, was, uh, it was Yahoo's website, but it was a, a Reuters picture. Yeah, so, so there's a kid in Singapore, nine years old, who, who read our book and used it to build an application and sold you know, 4,000 copies of his app on the App Store. I mean, it was a gr- great story, but the point is you know, you, you've got kids reading the book, you've got kids developing, developing apps, you've got, uh, we've certainly had many, many retirees who r- wrote in and said, hey, I'm, you know, I'm 65, I'm retired from my job, I wanted to take on a new thing in life. So we've got a full range of people. The question is, what experience do they bring to the table? You need to pick up a book on Objective-C, which is the language of the iPhone and the language of the Mac, the language of Mac development. And uh, the book that, that uh, that's, is by um, Scott Canaster and Mark Dalrymple. Uh, it's called Learn Objective-C on the Mac. Once you have that background, now you're ready to go to branch off into either iPhone development or into uh, Mac OS X development. And that book, that Learn Objective C on the Mac, is a very good book. We use it in our course as well in this roadmap that you're talking about, and it's it's a very good book. And Objective C is, like you said, it's the backbone of, of writing on uh, on both on the Mac and on the iPhone. That's the language that you're writing in. That's right. And Jeff, maybe you could talk a little bit about um, just the difference between Cocoa and Cocoa Touch and why you'd want to go one versus the other. That's a good question. Thank you, Jeff. Well. <clears throat> Cocoa and Cocoa Touch are, are similar libraries, but they're, they're, they're sort of targeted to specific platforms. Uh, Cocoa is what, what they call the, the uh, set of frameworks that, that are used to build uh, the user interface for um, the Mac. And then the, the, the version that's used on, on the um, iPhone is, is called Cocoa Touch. It's actually a different set of classes. They both sit on top of the, the same um, Foundation, which is actually called Foundation, um, but they are actually different different um, approaches. You know, you have a completely different set of classes that you're using to build your your user interface. Uh, so, you know, if you if you've used one, if you're a Mac programmer uh, and you're coming to to the iPhone, you're gonna you're gonna see a lot that you're familiar with. You're gonna see a lot that you're comfortable with. But there's also uh, a lot of stuff that's different and that can kind of throw you at first. Um, you know, they had the advantage of of writing this. You know, learning from what they had, you know, from their experience writing uh, Coco, and you know, sort of got got the chance to start with a with a fresh slate. So, um, you know, there's some stuff that's sort of baked into the architecture that that you know were added on later with Coco. So there, you know, there's there's some differences, but uh, certainly if you've got a background in in doing uh, Coco development or Next step, or new step, or any 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 uh, of the the sort of variants that use Objective C, you're 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 at a huge advantage over somebody coming from uh, either no programming background or coming from you know some other language. That's I mean, Objective C is is uh, it feels a little alien when you first come to it from another language like Java or or Visual Basic. You know, it's a, it's a little it's a little hard to wrap your head around at first. Great. Well, no, I appreciate that, Jeff. Um, Dave, you're kind of speaking to the roadmap to success here to becoming an uh, iPhone developer. After um, after they tackle Objective C, 
Um, and then and then after that, really the big step is next is to go ahead and start learning Coco. And then after Coco Touch and, and that foundation, where, um, where do they go next? I, I have to say that I am amazed at the incredibly great material that Apple has put together. And it's con they're constantly updating it. I mean, I, I can't speak to the, the, the newest stuff because it's still under NDA. The stuff that's publicly available for, for people who sign up for their program is, is terrific. There's, there really is a, lot, there's a ton of sample code, really good sample code. You know, you combine that with our book or any of the books, you know, whatever book you prefer for, uh, I mean, th this is really a very quickly maturing area. Uh, a year ago, it, there was no SDK. Uh, uh, I think it was, uh, the SDK, uh, when did it drop, Jeff, in October? With the NDA dropped? Uh, the NDA, the NDA dropped. Uh, it was either October or no, late September or October. Yeah. So, so basically, the 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 first SDK was publicly available. You could talk about it in public in October. So, it, so it's a relatively recent thing, and it's constantly maturing, constantly evolving. But yet, uh, you know, the the amount of great material is is also growing. The amount of tutorials available, the amount of videos available. Um, so I'd say we recommend to your readers, to your listeners, I'm sorry, is that they, uh, they go on Apple's website, uh, developer.apple.com, and they sign up for, and Jeff could talk to the specifics of the two programs that are available, but um, they sign up for one of the two developer programs and get themselves sort of made official, and they'll be able to kind of dive, they'll be able to log into the uh, developer website and, uh, and download some of these do great documents and look at some of the videos and, and learn a lot more than we can talk about uh, publicly. And that's, and that's a great point for the students and people that are trying to pick this up to really make sure that you sign up and become um, on uh, Apple's platform so that you can go ahead and get access to this information and sign the NDA. And I think that's one of the biggest uh, first steps that the developers wait too long, or potential developers, they wait too long to sign up for that. I think it is $99 to sign up. I'm, uh, I think that's what they're charging right now. It's $99 it. for the standard program. That would be for an individual. And then right. is it $299 for a, for a corporate sign up? Uh, that sounds right, and that's what gives you the right to, you know, the ability to uh, install them on your on your actual phone and to get onto the App Store. Uh, you mentioned WWDC, which is um, usually late uh, late May or early June um, every year, which is a great resource to go. It does cost some money to go to that, but it's uh, if you have it, if you have that week available, it's well worth being able to get access to that type of information. And if you're if you're you know if you're if you're just beginning you know don't go this year because it's going to be like drinking from a fire hose it's going to you know you're going to be overwhelmed but if you you know if you've been working your way through this stuff and you sort of get into the, the comfort level and you get to a point where you really just feel like you, you don't know how to take it to the next level there's there's no place better and it is like Dave says an awful lot of fun. Well, I mean, I have a, a couple of my favorite chapters, and I think uh, some people, the, the, new, the newbies that I work with, um, their favorite chapters are the, ch the chapters that you have on the table views and the navigation um, controller and how, how all the different options can play together to make a really great uh, table view. And there's, there's a lot to it. Well, I just, uh, I just want to sort of thank you for bringing that up because uh, those two chapters on the uh, the table view and uh, table views and the uh, and the hierarchical the, the uh, navigation controllers, those were really rough. Those 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 Dave and I bounced those back and forth. I mean, it must have been I don't know what three weeks just on those two chapters. Absolutely, they were definitely the hardest conceptually. Yeah, they, they were hard conceptually. They were difficult to write. They were just they were rough. So uh, we we really are are glad that those came out <laughs> as well as we hope they did because that that that's a very conceptually difficult area of the uh, of the iPhone SDK and a very important one. So uh, yeah, very and, glad and, to hear and that. It's the heart. It's the heart of most applications. You know, unless you're writing a game, um, you know, where you don't need to use table views necessarily. It's the heart of most applications is the table views. Well, great guys. I appreciate you taking your time. Time again to uh, speak with us, and I appreciate the book that you wrote here. I think it's doing a great service to the community. Again, the book is called Beginning iPhone Development, Exploring the iPhone SDK by Dave Mark and Jeff LaMarche. It's available through A-Press Publishing, and it is available on Amazon.com. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you taking the time here and to, to uh, speak with us tonight. Thanks for having us, Gary. Thank you, Gary.